Podcast. Here's KATC Chief Meteorologist Rob Perillo. Welcome back. Well, it looks like a dreary finish to the week and the weekend's not promising a whole lot in the way of sun. Maybe a little bit Sunday, but clouds stay with us at least through Saturday and clouds are going to dominate that 10 day forecast. Got a couple of nice days in there, but certainly milder temperatures overall, although we are going to cool down a little bit into Saturday. So let's look at the big picture across the Bayou State. We see the bulk of the rains on the local radars across the central and northern part of the state. We'll dial into the local Doppler radars, which by the way, Lake Charles is back, so that is good news there and more to come down the line. Fine tuning still yet to be done, but we do see scattered showers mainly along and north of I-10. Nice little shower showing up near the Karen Crow area. Again, more action as we get into northern northwestern sections of Acadiana. Some nice downpours up toward Alexandria where we could see some locally heavy rains over the next 24 hours or so, uh, mostly overnight tonight where an inch or two might accumulate. We'll show you some of those rain accumulations coming up in just a bit. Here's the latest graph model here indicating best rain chances through midnight tonight. Central Louisiana, a few scattered showers across our part of the world this evening, but again, just scattered. It's not going to be continuous. It gets a little bit more continuous toward tomorrow morning, so best rain chances it looks like for most of Acadiana between about 3 and about 7 o'clock in the morning. Here comes a cool front, so temperatures stay in the 60s tonight. It will be mild, but cooler air gradually filtering in. We still see highs in the mid to upper 60s. Rain's a kind of knock down a little bit in the afternoon, but can't rule out some sporadic showers or light sprinkles or maybe a little misty drizzle. And then as we head into Friday night, the cooler air begins to settle in. Still the rain chances with this frontal boundary just offshore staying with us, especially coastal parishes through Saturday morning. Temperatures Saturday in the 50s and may stay in the 50s all day long and into Saturday night. Sunday promises this front will begin to move back northward eventually as a warm front. So we'll see temperatures in the 50s early Sunday, but probably back into the 70s for Sunday afternoon. Hopefully a little bit in the way of sunshine Sunday afternoon as well, but no promises there. As for rainfall moving forward, it looks like highest rain totals will be in spots up to maybe one inch. Uh, anything in purple here uh, corresponding to one to two inches of rain. Most of us an inch or less, and this is backed up by several other models, so no major concerns with flooding nor any severe weather. Maybe a rumble of thunder late tonight, early tomorrow morning. So occasionally wet overnight tonight with showers likely mild temperatures. We hold in the low to mid 60s. We'll go 64 for the low and laugh yet. Your rain chance at about 80% tonight, 80% early tomorrow, but dropping to 30% later in the day. 68 your high tomorrow. Then we see cooling going into Saturday. That 60 is going to be around midnight. We stay mostly in the 50 Saturday. Again, some rain chances slight, albeit slight Saturday into Sunday. Could see a few showers Saturday night as that front moves back northward as a warm front. Good chance of showers and storms shaping up for Monday. Monday, maybe a severe weather threat there. Good looking day Tuesday, so mark the days down. Tuesday, Thursday, Friday of next week, the nice days and up and down rain chances and temperatures in that forecast. But notice lots of 60s and 70s and not and no 30s in the forecast anytime soon. When you're not done, we might have to wait till March to see 30s again. However, the way it's looking. Tuesday, Thursday, yeah. Friday. Yes, Noted. Mark those days down. <coughs> Yeah. I call in sick one. <laughs> Very good. We can each have one. It's okay, three of us. There you go. Each one of us take a day. Thank you, Ralph.